In 2004, a new zoning plan called the Representative Areas Program was introduced for the Great Barrier Reef. Now, a few years later, what effects has it had ecologically, economically and socially? The no-take green zones were designed to create areas in which fishes could grow and mature. Preliminary work, funded by the Marine and Tropical Sciences Research Facility, has shown that the biomass of coral trout in newly created green zones is approximately 50% higher, an extremely rapid response in such a short time scale. But an important question remains unanswered. Do green zones have the ability to replenish exploited fish populations outside of the protected area? Understanding how fish larvae are dispersed is a major challenge and is vital for effective management of marine fishes. Recreational fishing pressure is concentrated on inshore coral reefs. Scientists funded by the Marine and Tropical Sciences Research Facility are looking at how inshore fish communities are responding to fishing pressures following the zoning changes. It's not just marine life that's been influenced by the new zoning plan. Users of the marine park have too. The Marine and Tropical Sciences Research Facility is also funding projects to investigate the influences of the changes in zoning on fishing, recreation and tourism.